The following is a presentation of FNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the May 22nd, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And of course, the easiest way to do that it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make this one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but most importantly, for this next hour, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in, 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Let those fingers do the walking. Send me a quick email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question in, in our Tiger's Den, any and every. All pings will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Hump Day, wonderful Wednesday of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow off 105 points, 25,772 is the print. S&P's down 11, 2853. NASDAQ 100 off 32. Russell down 16, 1%. Semis off 2%. Down 31 bucks. Trade down at 1342. So it's mean and red across the board. Spot volatility X trade down to 1550. And I still believe that is below the 50 day exponential moving average. We'll check into that during the show. Gold is up a buck, silver up a penny. Light sweet crude off 11 cents, trading right into support, the bottom of its daily profile. We'll take a look at that. Leading the charge dollar wise to the upside, you've got Thermo Fisher. Thermo Fisher is up uh, nearly 2.5%, $6.60. Equinix up 6.80 or buck 1.4%. Uh, Target up nearly 9% or 6 bucks. Mercado Libre, 6 bucks, a little over a penny, uh, a little over 1%. Lowe's taking it in the uh, shorts down uh, about 12 percent, about 13 million shares behind the move thus far off 13 uh, buckaroonies. Granger WW down about 5 percent, 12 and change. Uh, booking holdings off 12 and change. Tesla down 10, trading out at 194.81. So let's first do this. A couple of questions have come in. But first, just uh, let me give you a understanding or a feel for where we are in the markets now. Because of my travel schedule on Monday, I couldn't do my normal segment with Tom that uh, we did at 3.15, but uh, got a chance to do a 4.15 segment with him yesterday, which was really cool. One of the reasons why it was cool, and I threw this chart in at the end, was because at the end of the trading session, or close to it, uh, with regard to the equity futures contract, uh, generated a beautiful... Um, pattern, a beautiful short-term topping pattern. What's nice is when you have multiple signals that line up with each other. And if you're listening in on the show, what I pointed out was that the NQ, the 30-minute chart, had generated wave number seven. That's letter G on my screen out here as well. It's just really a perfect Gartley cell. Now, what made it perfect was the fact that it was a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD, but it was also this bearish reversal candle right here. I don't have the candles labeled just to not clutter the chart for you, but there Here's your bearish, sash, bearish engulfing candle to complete that pattern. I don't even have Stevie's red line on this chart. Just trying to keep it uh, relatively clean. Now, if you were listening at 415 or you go listen to the archive, what I said was that price is likely to go target its TDST line. That is support. That is that red horizontal line. The actual price level out there was 73.94.75. And what happened? This morning, earlier this morning at 8.30, price came right back to support. Now, is it any wonder that support held? Well, maybe you were saying support shouldn't hold, but it did hold. And then price went to where? 
resistance. Because, you see, during that process, in the overnight hours, there was a TD setup nine count, little bottom that saw a bounce, and that bounce led right up into resistance. That was at 6 o'clock this morning. That was a solid green line. That is priced out here at 74, 65, 75. That held as resistance. What is the market doing? It is trading, and it's going to get narrow, prob probably get narrower and narrower over the course of the next couple of days. The majority of the big uh, traders uh, by this time should be packed up and headed to uh, beautiful places up in the northeast. I don't know what the weather's like, um, but neither way, um, price is trading right now in this market today as we speak between support and resistance. It won't be a surprise to me. Price couldn't bust them up. Price will go try to bust them down. So look for that level to hold. That's the only level of support, really, that I have inside the NQ. And again, that number to be watching during the day, 73.94.75, give or take out there. That's what the markets are doing. Oh, and gorgeous in Central Park. Well, that's a wonderful thing. Actually, uh, Maria was just on the Internet uh, booking some travel up there in uh, the end of August, um, early September. Hopefully the weather will be, it's always great around that. September, October in New York, oh man, I love that. In any event, uh, so so that's what the markets are doing. The next, so, so that, let's let's lead that into another question that came up. This is from uh, John in the uh, Tigers uh, den. And uh, John writes, uh, I suspect the Federal Reserve launches more money printing very soon. With the S&P rallying into the August to October time frame, please share figures I can use as support, which if I buy will tell me where I am wrong. So let's go take a look at that. How are we going to address this? How are we going to address this? So you're asking first, or maybe only, because you're really not asking about resistance. So you're just asking about support that you could buy. So for support that you could buy, and you're specifically talking about the S&P 500, let's do this here. Let me uh, move over to a couple of other spaces just so I can get everything. So for the S&P 500, Z, here's one of the things that you would be looking at, and that is the following. Here's what we know so far with regard to the S&P specifically. Number one. Um, price is still trading below Stevie's green line. That's after making a, a topping pattern out here with this bearish engulfing on May Day. Price is trading below the April lows. I covered that during yesterday's segment that I did with Tom. If you didn't hear that, probably would be advisable. I'm not really speaking just to John, just to everybody that would be out there. Probably worthwhile to go back and uh, listen to that. And then you'll understand when I say price is trading below the April low. So what this tells me, John, is if the, if the Fed is getting ready to unleash and that's what's going to be the impetus that moves prices higher in the S&P 500, then one of the things that you would see is price close above Stevie's green line, 2877. You would absolutely see that. With that not being the case and you're asking for support, I'm just going to simply go to that uh, TD setup uh, red line out here, just like we looked at in the 60-minute time frame chart for the uh, NQ. What's that number? That number to look at buying. We'll come back. We'll take a look at some other things as well. That number is 2798, 77 to the tick out there. That would be a place to look at uh, backing up the truck, so to speak. Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com. Hope you're right. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're still answering the question about, uh, hey, where is some good solid support inside the S&P 500? One of the levels that we looked at was the daily time frame chart. And we were looking at a, a support line generated by the uh, Tommy DeMarc set up a nine count pattern out there. And uh, that was in the 2700 range, right? It was uh, 20, 2798. If we take a look at the horizontal trading ranges, now this is a monthly time frame chart. And, and it's a beauty because you can see how well contained with inside those horizontal uh, price ranges, just how well they act as support and resistance. And here's one of the things that we know about the S&P this month, the month of uh, May, is that price came down and tested that monthly horizontal trading range support line. That's 28.18. So you got 28.18 and 27.98, something right around there. That becomes your range of support. Um, below the 27.98, would take us below the monthly horizontal trading range. And then that says we're looking at 2604 uh, potentially, which is uh, substantially at that stage. If that's what happens, you're not going to be looking for the, you know, a Fed infused rally. Uh, you'd just be looking for the next possible uh, level where, where price could move down to. So that's what the horizontal trading ranges uh, tell you and I. If we take a look at the uh, quadrant here, the four quadrant of the uh, of the uh, TAS market profiles, daily, weekly, monthly. Well, daily takes you down to about 2813 inside the ES mini. So that would be a place to look for uh, support out here. Um, if you get below 2813, you know that's uh, trouble because. Well, one, you'd be below the daily and the weekly profiles out here, and you've got a bearish structured monthly profile in the unfavorable seasonal cycle that says 2575 is game. So you've got the earlier, you've got really all, everything that you need, I would say, everything that you need, with the exception of if price moves lower, what's the pattern? Um, that uh, what's the pattern that would complete? And that's something that you would be uh, looking for. Um, there is always one of those patterns, really could be the A to B equals CD pattern, right? So we can easily draw that in here uh, using the data that we have. The market's always doing 75% of the workforce for this pattern. As the market produces more information for us, then we can adjust the pattern. But at this stage here, if price were to take out that TDST support line, um, that uh, basically also closed below 2801, the B point, 
of an A to B equals CD to the downside, then we're looking at a Gartley buy pattern that could form. Those price ranges could be 2739, 2697, 2645. Those are the extension levels, the latter two, the extensions of the A to B leg out there. Um, but until we break support, this is just a potential price projection tool area. Until the B point is taken out, and really in this case, until support is taken out, uh, it's just kind of cute to draw, but doesn't really have any meaning um, that is worthwhile to you and I. Um, okay, so John, I hope that answers your question. Uh, another question that came in here through the uh, through our uh, email system, the only one so far, this is coming from uh, Sat uh, uh, VM, and uh, VM is saying, uh, "I'm waiting for a bottom in FFIV to buy a few shares. Do you think there is a bottom in FFIV? And please suggest an entry price. Also, Qualcomm is down." And uh, can you check the daily profiles and suggest the support level? Yeah, well, so let's go take a look at uh, both of those. So let's start by looking at uh, F5 networks. Uh, give me just a moment here to throw the uh, switch to do that. So here's our three time frames uh, using daily, weekly, monthly, and the quarterly profiles out here. Uh, so as we take a look at this for F5 networks, here's what we know. Doesn't look good daily because price is below a bullish structured profile um, that has held as resistance. It's been resistance for the last three or four sessions out here. That was at 141.79. That suggests lower price. This is F5 Networks. If you take a look at the weekly profile, 151.36, we've been below the bottom of that box for the last three weeks. I don't have any signals that a new profile is going to form, but that's not good with regard to it. Uh, price is sitting right at the point of control from a monthly time frame, that's 140.41. But this would suggest to me 135.06 would be the area to be looking around. Now, let's make sure of that because let's go take a look at the daily time frame chart using Stevie's other tools to see if we can gauge some type of bottom out here. So there's a couple of things that we know. And just take a look at the current leg to the downside. A downside says we're only in leg number four. That's letter D. Um, so I, during our show, we like to look at the Stevie Wonder singing in the key of G, um, not D out there. Um, not that that's not worthwhile to look at. It's just not what I'm looking at for you to identify a what could be a significant bottom. In the TD uh, setup uh, count out here, I don't have that as a bottoming signal. Price below Stevie's red line. Um, there is an A to B equals CD pattern. That looks like it has completed. But let's take a look at that. That A to B equals CD pattern. This is the daily time frame out here. The one-to-one -one level, well, it exceeded that. And it went down to about the 1.272 area. And we did get this gap to the upside. That is a bullish reversal signal on, the, on yesterday. Um, but price is not closed above Stevie's red line. It is still below the daily profile out there. So if this is a buy the D point, let it prove itself to you. Let it, I would say, get above 142.96. That's both Stevie's red line as well as the uh, the center line of its bullish structured box. And then what you'd be needing to see is price close above 147.62. To answer your question, is the bottom in yet right now for F5 Networks? It has potential or at least potential for one of the five outcomes of this A to B equals CD pattern, which the first one would be a 0.382 retracement. But for our purposes right now, we would be using just simply 147.62 as a resistance level that needs to be crossed. Would I buy F5 networks now? The answer would be no, even though it's completed that A to B equals CD pattern. It needs to get above Stevie's red line at a minimum. Now, the reason why it's worthwhile to look after that. Again, going to Stevie's other charts is helpful, very helpful, because we can take a look at some of the other patterns that the profiles are not going to pick up on, which are typically leading indicator patterns, such as my Rhodes Momentum indicator signal that led to the FFIV weekly top when it created that uh, bear separation line the week of or the weekend at 10.5 out there. Now, price came back when it generated that pattern, just like we looked at inside the NQ on a 30-minute basis that we looked at last night, said, hey, here's a topping pattern. Where's price likely going to full fall to? We went right to Stevie's red line. Well, now take a look at F5 Networks. Where is price trading at on a weekly basis? Right there. 
What that's saying to you and I is that was the breakout area inside of F5 on a weekly basis. So it does make sense for you to look and observe uh, for a bottom in F5, but make sure that the uh, price on a daily basis closes above Stevie's red line. So that's all that I can share with you because that's all the information that we've got at this stage with regard to FFIV. With regard to Qualcomm, QCOM, Let's put that in here. What do we know about Qualcomm? Look, when we take a look at this chart here, it's so easy to spot where the breakout was because that wide price spread accelerated volume wasn't that the day when uh, they were going to be able to, uh, I don't know, sack Apple because they won the uh, patent issue or something. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that. Clearly a breakout. Where's price headed to? That breakout level out there. I'm kind of curious, when Qualcomm made its top, oh, it was with a rose momentum indicator signal. That bear sash on May 7th said it was going to decline further to the breakout area. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. The art of timing the trade charts has a special running for one week only. From now through Memorial Day, you can save 25% off your first month and we'll ship you a hardcover copy of Tom O'Brien's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade. The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system. This software package is the fastest, easiest, and most accurate way to analyze stocks using Tom O'Brien's trading philosophy. It automatically provides you with Gartley and Butterfly patterns, swing points, retracement levels, confluence areas, expansion targets, and the Power Law Vector Indicator with just the click of a mouse. The scanner searches thousands of stocks each day and delivers a list of every Gartley and Butterfly pattern it finds automatically. Just enter the promo code BOOK at checkout. This sale ends Memorial Day, May 27th, so don't let it pass you by. For all the details and to save 25% and get your free book shipped today, check out the art of timing the trade charts on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome, uh, folks. The hotline is open, 877-927-6648. Uh, let's take a, a question. Uh, this coming in from uh, Steve in Houston. And uh, Steve um, says, uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Steve says, uh, called to ask your opinion on crude oil. He thinks it will continue south. Um, and that's the question. So 
here's what we know about uh, light sweet crude and that is that uh, on the daily base I mentioned this during the uh, during the open a segment this morning that light sweet crude has pulled back to a key level of support that being the bottom of the profile Steve and that's 6124 we're trading slightly below that at 6108 I don't know what the end of the day uh, this is going to look like but it's trading into support um, the key level to be watching so let's go with your premise that oil is going to go further south first you want to see price close below uh, that bottom of that uh, box out there 6124 but you really need to see it close below the May 6 low and that level is 62.44. By doing that, then you'd have an A to B equals CD to, excuse me, to the downside. But I need to add that tool on this chart out here. So let me do that. Makes that a little bit easier to actually draw that in. Uh, there we go. So the A to B, now, this A to B equals CD projection, Steve, doesn't mean a thing until price closes below that swing point, that B point. And again, that B point is 60.23. If it does, then what you would be looking at, especially if it was taken out with volume, uh, then you'd be looking at a move down to the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD is 57.40. The 1 to 1.2, 55.62. I'd be leaning more towards that, the latter then I would be the one to one A to B equals CD pattern. But we're not there yet, so we can't make that call. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, this will be helpful for you tomorrow because the bottom of the weekly profile is 6172. So you've got a 6124, 6172 closing below both of those uh, would signal lower price. But again, it's still going to be that low. Um, well, the weekly low was 60.23, so same low out there that you need to see a close below to really give you that signal of a lower price coming at you with regard to light sweet crude. If we pull up my other tools out here and take a look at where is it that price could pull back to, well, the most recent breakout area takes you to the day of March 28th. And that level, I'm going to try to give that to you, that price point out here is going to be 58.57. So even though the A to B equals CD patterns give you larger projections than that, that is the breakout area which needs to go into your thinking should price continue to move lower. The secondary breakout area, because we saw a huge move inside of Light Sweet Crude off of the June bottom out here, and so that secondary breakout area took place on March 11th. This is the daily time frame chart, and that's 56.64. So I think you've got everything that you need but in order for light sweet crude to get uh, moving, get its mojo to the downside, 6023 is the number that you are looking at. So thanks for calling and um, hope that helps to answer your question. John in Sarasota writes in and says, is there a bottom for the SMH? Or where do we see it? So good question here. And let's go look, John, at the semiconductor index chart itself versus the ETF. Is that okay with you? Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so now let's go to, you, you like how I just talked to myself? If you're going to do a one-hour show, folks, you pretty much got to learn how to talk to yourself out there. That's a beautiful thing. My grandmother always used to say, if you talk to yourself, it means you've got money in the bank. So I like to talk to myself. But uh, let's go answer John's question out here. Can we spot a bottom inside the semis well it's not looking good it's not looking good uh your question was where do i see support where do i see a bottom yeah great question out here so on the daily time frame chart john it's not here price is below the breakout area where's the next breakout area i can tell you what that is on the daily time frame to be looking at it's the third td setup nine count to the upside and that low was 1342.63 He's worth 1343.76. 1342.63, potential for a bottom. Look, I can show that line on here. All I have to do is just, is just add it. Uh, so that's an easy thing to do. We'll put that out here. That way, if you're looking at the archive, so let's make two lines, three. There we go. Hit OK. And you'll see a red horizontal line come across. So you can see price really trading right back to a potential level of support. But, but here's the deal, John. When price is coming back to support, we sure like to see some type of bottoming pattern out there versus just a retracement back to support. We, we don't always get what we want, but, but it's what we like to see. We don't see that just yet. So this says to you and I, you know, 
Come on, Steve-O. Get off of the daily charts out here. Let's go take a look at the weekly charts. Well, hey, wait a minute. Wait. A minute. Well, what about the monthly chart? I know the month's not over. It's only May 22nd out here. But if the month were over, John, we'd be saying holy shnikes to the semiconductor index. Why? Because it has formed a, a rose momentum indicator top on a monthly time frame chart. They don't happen often, but when they do and they confirm, they are things to uh, really pay attention to. And this says you can go back and revisit the lows of 2018 out here. Well, not the, lo yeah, the lows of uh, December in 2018 out here, and actually lower than that because the actual breakout on a monthly basis came in at 948.53. Now, I'm not willing to make that total call just yet because we really should go take a look at the weekly chart, which is what we started to do until I interrupted myself. But let's do, let's go take a look at the uh, weekly time frame. Let's pull that up on the screen here. Um, so what do we know? The daily said level three of a breakout area inside the uh, semis. If we take a look at the weekly time frame, yeah, this is saying the 1140-ish area out here. The exact price point that this is saying, John, is down at 1143.24 out here. And I don't have any other pattern to really suggest otherwise. Now, the last time, you know, I don't make this stuff up. I do provide you or try to provide you with a set of tools that you can learn. It's easy to learn out there. You should take this. You should take this and learn it and teach it to others out there. Uh, you know, the, we're all here on this planet to service each other in one fashion or form out here. This is my service to you as best I can to show you tools that work consistently. Even when they fail, they provide you and I with important messages out here. And if we do take a look at the uh, weekly chart for the semis, John, you can see that the lows back here in December stopped where? Right at that breakout level. Now, there's a new breakout level in town. There's a new sheriff in town, and that sheriff in town says, okay, maybe price is going to pull all the way back down to 1143.24. Not overnight, but um, that's what I see when I take a look at the chart for the semiconductor index. Uh, John, I hope that uh, helps you out, and uh, happy sailing. All right, let's go see if we've got any other requests out there. We do. Uh, Dylan writes in. Let me see what uh, Dylan has to say. Uh, uh, ah, okay. So this, this is for a, this is for a different question, not a question over the air, right there. So, um, so we'll go there. Let me see. What do we have here? Rose writes in. What is Rose write in? Two beaten up stocks. Where are the buys? Those two beaten up stocks, folks. One of them is ticker symbol B E A T. That's a play on words. We get back from this break. Let's go see if we can find a bottom for Rose in Biotelemetry, Inc. We'll be right back. The TFNN Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Sale is here. From now through Memorial Day, you can get up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars never expire and can be used for any TFNN good or service. Whether you're a current subscriber looking to add instant savings or you're a new listener or viewer that is considering signing up for any product in the near future, now is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars and lock in dramatic savings on all TFNN products and services. We only have a sale like this a couple times a year, so don't let it pass you by. Tiger Dollars are are available in three purchase options with a 20%, 30%, and even 40% bonus. Once you purchase your Tiger Dollars, you'll be able to apply them to your TFNN account, and then they are automatically used for all your recurring subscriptions going forward, making it as easy as possible. For all the details on this Tiger Dollar promotion running through Memorial Day, visit the front page of TFNN.com and get your Tiger Dollars before this sale passes you by. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So let's go back, take a look at uh, BEAT, B-E-A-T, Biotelemetry, Inc. for uh, Rose. And Rose is looking for a bottom. Now, now Rose, uh, BEAT should have bottomed two days ago. And the reason is it's got a key reversal session there. That's one reason. Price closed back above the bottom of the daily profile. That daily profile bottom was at 48.61. But the reason why it should have bottomed was because price was moving lower, doing less relative energy out there. And you got that bullish engulfing key reversal session out there. So it should have bottomed. But when something bottoms, it really needs to take out resistance. Well, the first thing is it got to close above Stevie's red line. It did that. And it had a little follow through yesterday. But wouldn't you know it, that follow through ran right into resistance, the top of that daily profile out there. And so therefore, if beat is going to have a bottom signal and follow through, price must close above 5044. Otherwise, it'll continue to move lower, which is really the message of the weekly and the monthly time frame charts out here. And this is why you've got to be careful or should be careful. Price below the weekly bottom of the profile. Price with inside the monthly profile, all suggesting that price should pull back to about 33.47. Now, maybe that's a stretch. It's going to take a while to get down there. Uh, first level of support on the weekly. See, the profiles aren't going to show it, but we need to go and understand where was the breakout level of support. And that was the week of June 15th. So that brings into play 43 bucks even Stephen. No bottoming pattern out here on a weekly basis. So price is more likely to head there. But I would be willing to change my mind, change my mind on the daily time frame and say that there would at least be a counter trend rally if beat closed over 5044. We never know if it's a counter trend rally. It's going to turn into more than that. Well, more than that would be taken out where price most recently broke down. That was April 30th. And that number and that price point where your counter trend move could take you to, and that's how you would need to take a look at this trade. If you could get a close above 50.44, would be 57.40 out there. That's what you would be looking at. So has it bottomed? It's given you the bottom signal. Has it been able to take out resistance? It hasn't. And especially because of the weekly and the monthly time frame charts, we've got to be careful when it comes to beat. And by the way, on the monthly chart out here, it's got that nasty Rhodes Momentum Indicator significant top signal that also brings into play that breakout level of 2890. So I would be just um, careful and cautious. And if you did get into it, look at it as a trade, not as an investment, at least at this stage of the game. The other question was if we could go take a look at TWOU. TWOU. 
Uh, TWOU, I don't know what that is. TW, we're going to go find out here momentarily. That is uh, 2U Inc. Huh? Huh? 2U Inc. Trading out, by the way, at. Um, what is it trading out right now at 4095? Yeah, 4095. Here's what we know about ticker symbol T W O U. Oh, looks nasty. Nasty is what I say. Why do I say nasty? Well below the bottom of its monthly profile, well below and taken out a prior weekly swing point uh, with conviction. Oh, this is nasty looking. Uh, we won't just use this out here, but here's the confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside on a weekly time frame just to give you its uh, price projection tool. That says uno to uno. That's one to one takes you to 2641 and one to 1.272 1170. That's confirmed. The 2641 nut out there. Do we see any bottom out here using Stevie's other tools? And the answer is going to be nope, not a zilch, zip, uh-uh. If anything, today was just simply a test of that red line, and um, so not looking not looking good out there. If price could close above, we'll call it 41. 41, what does that do for us? Uh, gets us a 41.09, that's what we would say. That would say you could get a little counter-trend rally, 43.53, maybe 48.52. But right now, uh, 2U Inc., um, I guess... If we were going to put together a license plate, it would be the number two, B-A-D, too bad, the number four, us. Too bad for us to go ahead and try to step in on 2U, Inc. Hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. And, uh, hey, have a great uh, holiday weekend. We've got one coming up, folks. Uh, Michael H. writes in. Uh, how about symbol UNG, the United States Natural Gas Fund out there? Let's go take a look at UNG. Of course, uh, Mike, if we're going to really look at that, we'd like to go along, but could see the test of the low of December 18th of 2040. Um, and you know, for me, if we're going to look at this, we've got to really look at the natural gas contract. I don't know of a better way to uh, understand, you know, that way the ETF can is, is I want to look at all the data. And since that's what the uh, UNG is trading off, now the UNG may have two contracts in there. Um, you know, you have to go look that up. But if we take a look at natural gas, um, guys and gals, is still the uh, June contract? Is that the active contract? Oh six one nine. See if that comes up on my. Ah, doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Um. So what can I do here? N G. Ah, shoot. Shoot. Yeah, give me. Give me a moment, if you would, just to just to do this here, just to try to get all of the data. We still got a minute and a half out there, so just bear with me for a second. I don't have the June contract, unfortunately, in my other symbol, so we're just going to revert back to the continuous contract. That should be okay for what we want to do out here. All right, so here's what we know. First, I would say, uh, Mike, that your best buy area uh, is going to be with natural gas getting to and holding uh, $2.53. 2.523, 2.531. Those are the levels of the daily and the weekly uh, market profiles out here. And it's a bullish structured box on both the daily and weekly. So if, um, so it should hold. So the, the nice thing is, uh, one, this could take place in aftermarket hours. So before you would even enter the UNG, and if you see price trading below 2.523, you know not to enter into a long trade out there. In fact, if anything, this could be set up in A to B equals CD to the downside. I'm not saying that it has. I'm saying that it could. Why could it? <clears throat> Take a look at this spike right here on May 20th. So what do we know about that spike on May 20th out there? What do we know? Well, first, <clears throat> there was an A to B, there was a Gartley sell pattern 
that formed. What do you mean, jelly bean? Here's what I mean. Take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern that we've got up here. Here's your A point, the low of April 25th. Your B point is the high of May Day out here. Your C point is either May 6th or May 7th. It doesn't matter. They may both be the same. I'm going to choose May 7th. 1 to 1.272 A to B equals CD, 271. That's what was hit. What followed on the next session right here? That orange candle? Bear sash out there confirming a Gartley sell pattern. You got to watch support, 252, 253. Guess what else the natural gas contract did? It topped with that TD setup nine count out there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. And so now just to close out natural gas, here's the weekly time frame chart, Mike. You can see that when it topped, it had that TD setup, nine count. Um, it's pulling back. It's trading below support. It's trading below the support of that TD setup, nine count on February 8th. It's a weekly time frame chart that we're looking at. So I think you've got to really be careful here and wait for some type of really good reversal signal inside of natural gas. I don't see it as we speak uh, right now on May the 22nd out there. Jimmy D., Want to take a look at ticker symbol VC, that is Visteon Corp. And the question is, um, is there a bottom in sight? Um, here's what we know right now, uh, Jimmy, and that is that price has pulled all the way back to its monthly swing point, all-time swing point low, which takes you back to August of 2012. The top of that is 46.46. You're trading at uh, 46. 
50 right now, but that's the level that's being tested with lighter volume. If price closes under 46, 46, you got to stay put. You got to say that uh, price may get all the way down to 2704 out there. Uh, on a monthly basis, the swing point that it's passing at 14.6 million, you're at 10 million. And uh, so how many trading days are there left in the in the month? I don't know off the top of my head. Um, four or five, something like that. Um, I, it, be careful. Be careful here. Uh, if we take a look at uh, VC and I'm looking for a bottom signal just on the daily time frame, it ain't there. Is there an A to B equal CD to the downside? Absolutely. We can draw that in here. That way we can get some kind of price projections. You're beyond the 1 to 1.272. You're only in day number five of a potential TD setup nine count. The last one didn't stop price whatsoever. Jimmy, that is a clear signal of giganto momentum. In this case here, that direction is to the downside. If you take a look at the last time this topped out here is with that TD setup nine count. And it stopped when it should have. In this case here, the day after bar nine. You got to sit tight, be patient, wait for some type of reversal signal, and probably a few other things as well. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, 3 to 5. I'll be back with you on uh, Thirsty Thursday. Yeah, let's pour a glass of wine together. That'd be fun. I'll be right back. Oh, I won't be back. See you tomorrow.